good vibes coming in for them here in game one. You're letting everyone onto the information a little bit earlier. So you're giving them a giving them a gift, giving them a little taste of what could happen. We had one crazy Yaznaya game already to start things off of the entire contending series. Could we end up with that again? Time will only tell. Now MYM again, they consistently went for military base, and then yesterday they just went, nope, we're going to completely <laughs> change it up. Is that what's going to happen again? They're still in the plane as of now. Well, I mean, the plane is allowing for them to go military, so we wouldn't expect them to go anywhere but that. There are some other teams that are trying to see if they can do some change-ups. We do see looking at Swamp going back towards Yasnaya. Wizards joining them as well, so still the split going on there. Elke Ganton will take their eastern split as well. Also a team that... <sighs> Elke Ganton, I, I've casted them for a long time. They've played together for a long time as well. Very, very capable players. They've just also been in one of those situations where they lose that one guy on the first rotation or mm. second rotation, or they try to push in on a fight. It works for them, but they lose one guy, which technically isn't the worst thing, but then they have to play the remainder of the game with just three guys alive, and it becomes hot. What? I'm, I'm, I'm worried about Asverin. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 may have, he may have clocked on the... His oh, team have gone where they I usually he, go, he and he's now have, jumped in and gone, ah, he's this is an error. Oh, has he? Yeah, because there's only 63 people in the plane now. Rip. Oh, no, he's back. He's back. He's in the hey. border. There you go. Hopefully, hopefully that means that everyone's <laughs> here. We'll, we'll have to uh, have to wait and see. But look at this. I mean, Team Unique, they're split in between the guys from Desperado oh, Circle. Oh, oh. They're sent up. Honestly, not a whole lot to it. You do have the River Center in play, but, but rotation opportunities for everyone. Only thing here, you want to go center early. There's already a river, but as we can see as well, around that circle center, Rasak School apps, we've talked about it so mm. many times. Because you have Lajipov and the boys from that team in the middle of everything, makes it so much harder for teams to rotate in. Now, one thing we're seeing again, and this is the change that Kebabs made yesterday. They are sticking together a little bit more. Okay, Mr. Unseen's a little bit further away. Ephesus has taken his own corner, but this is something that I can deal with, right? This is the position they can have. And there's good old Asverin. He's just chilling, going for a bit of a swim. He's like, you know what? It's game one. I wanted to cool off because I felt warm. I felt the pressure yesterday. So I'm just going to chill, and I'm going to go for a little dive across. But he is getting shot at here, which is less yeah. than ideal. Oh, uh, and uh, that's that's not going to be a res anytime soon. So he goes straight down, <laughs> sinks to the bottom of the ocean. He'll be drowning out, and that'll be the first kill of the game. That's not the way you want to see it, and that's not the start that Avangar no. needed at all. Not at all. Unfortunate start of the game. We talked about yesterday in game one how they did lose. I think it was Maxis on that first rotation to yeah. Wizards around the northern side. That kept them from playing that aggressive style we'd like to see them do. Once they had the fourth guy alive in game two, they started plowing people on over. And now having lost one, that might force them to once again do things a little more passively. And that's kind of one of the things we, that we really now start to worry about with Avangar, right? Okay, we're getting on now. It's day three. Mm. They've already had a few rough games. They're not in the placement points that people may have expected them, especially both of us. We expect them, spoke quite highly of them. It's not kind of been working out from here. Soon enough, they need to come back into this. Oh, yeah, for sure but a team that indeed has been in the mix. I don't think they've had a single, maybe one game out of the first eight outside of top six, I want to say. I mean, quick math, they have been a positive, positive surprise to me, playing extremely well. Same thing here in final of the games of yesterday, Besiktas getting their loot game going in. Pachinki will have plenty of opportunities as far as rotations go. Question for them is going to be, do they want to go over the river, maybe on the western side by Ruins? I don't want to stick to the southern side. Might just have to uh, opt to stick around in the south because, well, I mean, if next circle guarantees whether it's going to go north or south, rather make the rotation there than try and clam, uh, sort of cram your way in between teams now and then have to make long rotations after. Oh, yes, that indeed. Now, we were talking about the team that's on your screens now, Find a Home, and they are a team that did. We, we, we certainly went, okay, look, we need to see them a little bit more action mm -hmm. from them. It needs mm -hmm. to step up a little bit more. They have had moments, though, where we look at them and go, look, this is what we want to see. This is how it's supposed to be played. But it's more, they've just been getting caught off. Like, I saw Lipson going in for quite a few duels yesterday and then getting picked off early. He was the man, like, he was trying to make something happen, but maybe the teamwork wasn't there at times for these guys. One thing that I like is nobody's looting North George per se. Rita and We Need a Home, they looted South George yesterday and the day before. And now with no one North George, like, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter where we go. We have the entirety yeah. of the Georgeville side of things to ourselves. Look at the western side of the map, too. Of course, the circle has sent it up, but there's no one down here. Plane didn't really allow for them to get out there either. You see Unique being the furthest western team took them a while to get here, too. But now rotations are coming in. And for Besiktas, they didn't want to stick around and wait for the circle. They're moving early, and they're going out east. Yeah, Besiktas as well. Okay, two great games yesterday. Arangle, we want to see what they can do this time around. Now they're certainly feeling a bit more confident. You can see it in their play style. But I want to know what's going to happen here when they push forward, because there's quite a few teams in the direction they're heading to. Broken, trying to see if he can land some shots over towards Alamo on the northwestern side of the water here. Amira, I, I want to say Amira Mor, because that's, that's, you know, 
sounds good, but I, I, I don't think that's how I pronounce his name. But nonetheless, he's trying to uh, stay if he can lay, uh, see if he can lay low. Metralius, on the other hand, he's in the middle of a street shooting at people, so he's not laying low at all. <laughs> yeah, Metralius is out in the <laughs> open saying, hey, come and get some, I'm ready for it. But I do worry about him if another squad comes on. He's already getting some shots fired off towards him, so he's playing a little bit of the ducking and diving, the weaving, the bobbing, and... Desperados, I've seen this too many times with you. Yeah. Come on, let's be a little bit more sensible with the vehicle plays. Honestly, that's exactly what you're saying. You, you don't do it. I mean, it's going to cost you so much yeah. in the end. Reciprocity. Obviously. Oh my god, they're in issues early on once again. Raffi already eliminated. Hacks already taken out for Scoom and Shift. Now they have to figure how we're going to do this because this is not going to be easy at all. Just two guys remaining. Shift is locked down inside a shack and Scoom is running around in apps without any sort of chance to help him out. Yeah, too far away. Shift's pinned down as well. Nicely done as T-Bone. He's managed to take on Z-Stars from from Elgig, sorry. Wizards again. We're always seeing them early on within the top flight before we even get down to 50s, right? And we're seeing them come into the fray, come in and get these kills. And that is where they are always willing to take the fights. They just need that big win. I have heard of having a thorn in your heel, but I've never heard of having a wizard in your heel. Honestly, Elki Ganton, and I think three out of the four games they've lost a guy early, wizards were the guys to take one out. It happened twice yesterday, and now it happened again. And we've also seen it once on... Um once on the Miramar game where O'Connell got a kill from really far away. So Wizards, they really, really got the hold down on El Giganten. Yeah, and this is where some of the action is going to be starting to kick off. Both Wizards and El Giganten looking at each other out on the heavy fire. They can see the damage raining in. The smoke's going to give him a little bit of cover. Dice is coming up to give him some backup as well. T-Bone's there at the same time, just a little bit further away. But they've got this kind of covered behind the hay barrels. Can they try and make this work? Deeg's playing the long range game, but they still need to be careful. Both T-Bone and O'Connell have been so good from what I've been seeing from mm -hmm. these guys. These mm -hmm. guys are scary. If I saw them, I'd be running the other way. Very talented bunch for sure. See Deeks here with the off angle position, trying to see if he can spot some heads. Not going to have an Elias head, though. Very much popped off. I believe it's one of the Besiktas players that took him out just before. Yep, you see Tomal shooting down there up towards, trying to get the shots through the smoke. No finish offs coming in just that, though. We gotta talk about this from Basictas as well. They're the ones that moved up from kind of the southwest area, right? Mm -hmm. They went right in between three different teams and they've now already grabbed themselves a compound. This is huge movements from them once yeah, again. Much is. Impressive. Very much so. We talk about how these center positions were hard to obtain. Now they've gotten themselves into a good spot. They're close to the river, and that's what you want to do here early on. You need to find yourself a spot where you are close to the river so you can cut across quickly once that next circle pops. Like you just said though, right? Hard to obtain, and they just made it look easy. Yeah. I mean, they did. They committed to it, and they all went there together. That's what you've got to do, and that well, it worked out. <laughs> Re realistically, though, they were in vehicles. They were making noise. There should have been some sort of challenge coming around. The other teams were all busy. Reciprocity, they had to go past. Were already engaged in a fight, and already we're seeing Desperado start to head over to Wizards. Now the fight is going to soon be kicking off as we take a look at one of the crates down on the floor. But people aren't going to be bothered with it just yet. And this fight is very much large and in charge. Desperados, they've grabbed themselves from ground, they've pushed themselves forward, and they're gonna try and keep Wizards at bay for a little bit longer by applying this additional pressure. You can see the shots going off, and O'Connell has no other option than to fall back just yet, because him and O'Connell need to get back with the rest of their team. They can't take this challenge just yet. They are in a wide 2-2 split, and there's no way for errors and dice to help them out should they be full-on committed to the push or smart disengage from uh, from T-Bone and O'Connell there to get the way over towards the teammates. New circle is going to pop in just a short moment's time as well. So it will be interesting to see whether or not it's going to confirm whether we're going north or south of the river. Now, we did also just see on the screen when the map came up quite very quickly there that actually Avangar, they had a mm -hmm. player drop down early on. They lost him. It was unfortunate for Asverin, but they are going through the complete north rotation. Right down from the south, they're going to go the whole way around and try and grab some control. Now, in this time, Dicer, he's gone down. Called the men to say, hey, we are going to take this fight to you. You guys think you can be the heavy hitters here. We're going to be the ones doing the damage as Aros gets knocked as well. And this is not looking good for Wizards. And this is a problem. Wizards need these points. They're happy to go for these engagements, but at times, they don't back away. At the same time, though, Desperado, they cannot overcommit to, uh, over to this. Sure, it's good. It's great to get those kill points. You got yourself one. Now get in your vehicle and get going. Because this circle was soldiers before. It did indeed confirm that it's going to go north. And these guys are very far off. They need to start rotating right now. Because there are not a lot of positions to take up there. If you're a team that comes in just a little too late. We're talking five to ten seconds later. There's going to be nowhere for you to lay low up here. Now you watch Unique go through their rotation. They're going to be coming all the way around the side of Pachinki. Give them some room to work with here. 
Then they're not going to be challenged just yet. MYM no, are cool. kind of just about behind them, but it's not really a scary place for them. They're all just trying to get themselves around. So Verney, where Quick Math started, has been looted and abandoned. That means other teams could slip into it. We're still seeing Wizards and Desperados taking this battle, waiting up. a lot of time. And actually, Desperados, okay, we did say that they should probably try and just fall back now, don't over-challenge, but they're going in for this. They're hungry for the kills, hungry for the points. Aros comes in, but his position was known, and he goes down, and Desperados are saying, hey, anything you can do, we can do better. I think what happened was that they noticed Aeros run back inside that shack. They saw the vehicles drive off and they're like, wait, they didn't leave him a vehicle, did they? So they knew he was going to be trapped there, had a 4v1 advantage and they just utilized it. But now they really need to start getting going because as you can see further on the left on your screen, Besiktas there up here, you got Dastish and Unity making their move over towards the side of things either. And uh, well, for anyone coming late, as I said before, there's just not a lot of places to take up there, especially not when teams are splitting in the north side of things. You got Insolenso up there splitting out. You got other teams in the splits as well, and they're taking whatever is available for compounds. Well, sweaty nerds could be gifted a crate very close to them, and they do want to go and get it. Let's see what's inside of it. We've got the Ooh. AWM, which is really nice. Got the, obviously, level threes and the good old ghillie suit if anyone wants to jump in and try and use that to their advantage. Now, one thing we've got to say, right, and you just mentioned it there, with these rotations coming in fast, the reason this is faster than normal rotations we see is because, like you said, there's limited positions where these teams can go. Mm. They need to find themselves a spot before it's all taken. They're going to have to take some engagements here, so I'm expecting some big fights to kick off pretty damn soon. Main thing here is that if this next circle shifts out of Severny, pretty much no matter where it goes, it'll for sure benefit the people that are already going to be in, yeah. but for anyone else trying to to get to that spot, it's going to be really hard to find anything that you can get without having to force a fight. And that's when you're going to see those third parties coming in. That's when you're going to see those fights that people really don't want to take, but will be forced to take because, well, there's not a whole lot to play for. Now look at this, right? Unique. They've gone and pushed themselves, started to go in. They've gone over the water. While MYM are going the long way around, pushing all the way up to the north, going to go towards at least around shooting range and Severny here. So they're taking a different approach. That means they've bypassed each other. Mm -hmm. but now, we also saw reciprocity on the screen there while you were talking. And one thing they're doing, we say how they love to try and play for that center circle. Now they're down two men already, yeah. not ideal for them. You'll watch them play very back of this circle, chill out a little bit and say, okay, if we can just pick off some kills, stay alive, play the long game here. Every time reciprocity has been in a rough spot and they've been on the edge of the circle, they've got insane hardships towards them. So it would be fun to see if they're going to get one more circle. It's going to pop and nope, not this time. Scoom, <laughs> not going to happen. You do have to make your way over the other side of the pond. And you can see it right here. You have the double compounds on the southwestern side of the new circle and a few houses in the south. But other than that, there's really only, I can count up three... Maybe four potential spots to go for, and we have got a total of six teams outside the circle. Severny, sure, you can go there, but that's mm. going to be last resort for everyone. It's already on the edge, so it's just, I mean, <laughs> this circle, I mean, we're going to see that, that chaos circle. You normally get circle six. It's going to happen circle four, circle five this time around. Now, Wizards abandoned their vehicles, went for the little long-range push round, and what's happened is Desperados have bypassed them in their own vehicles. Obviously, higher number advantage here, but the good thing here for Desperados is they're just behind everyone. So, Team Kebab's there. You've got also Avangar close by, Elgig as well. So, there's an option here for them to take some high ground and mm. see what they can do to snipe in on anyone else around there. For anyone forced to take these fights in the open or forced to stop in the open, those vehicles will be gone, those smokes will be gone, and you still have, well, potentially four to five more circles to play, so good luck with that. I um, mean, Amor goes down, Dastish gets himself a knock on towards him, not sure if he's going to be able to finish it off. There is quite a bit of distance down towards him, looks like Tess will be able to go down and get the rest on up. Ben and company from Sweaty Nerds, they did manage to get themselves the AW. I mean, who better to put it into, uh, who better's hands to put it into than Andy? But now you see Unity, they got the knock on to one, and they're going to full on commit to the Elmo. Yeah, Unity want to try and get in there and finish this off, and this is again, is Venconus who have not had the greatest start to the tournament thus far. He will probably be finished off as soon as he's found. He can only hide for so long, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Orange Snow is going to find it. And Unity, again, right? They're a team that are always finding themselves within these fights. They're always finding themselves in some nice spots, and they're quite happy to just give up ground where needed and play more together as a team. That's what their kind of winning factors have been. I'm thinking Orange Snow, that's when you don't drink enough water, right? <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> just, just the I, I, name, you know? I know what yellow snow is. Orange snow. <laughs> I've not had that one yet, but orange snow maybe he's making his own. He's had a, a, uh, has a bit too much energy drinks for him. There you go. You see up on the northern side of things too in Severny. Two teams did commit to that one. Meet Jamaicas have taken the southwestern barn. And also you have the likes of, I believe, that's to be looking for a team. Yep, sitting up on the southern side of the church area. So two teams already up there, but as you said, it's on the far northern side of things. Could very well be shifted out from it just a moment's time. And believe me, one thing is crashing into Severny. That's 
doable, but if those vehicles are popped getting out of there, it's going to be yeah. one hell of a, uh, well, swear words show because it's a very long run out in the open. Yeah, and that's what they want to try and avoid. MYM got themselves nicely in a good spot just towards the south of Saverni, but they're very close to a couple of other teams now. Mm. Flo is taking his time, right? He's up on the other side. He's giving them a bit of a, a waiting game here. But this is where Swarm have to be oh so careful. Yep, have to play it safe, has to play it smart. We'll see if they'll be able to stick around for a little while longer or if this circle will go elsewhere. It's just about to pop and down south Ooh. we go. There is not a single compound to play around anymore. You have the Southern House in the Wizard, but it's going to be hard to get down there with teams already making their way down there. Unique seem to want to spread out and get that 2-2 two -two split going down there as well. But look at the Northern side of things. There's a lot of teams going to be fighting and it's all going to be in the open. Now you said about reciprocity, right? Getting on that circle. Like this time around, it moves in their favor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they are actually, if they did just work their way up north, obviously they don't know this, but there is an abandoned compound they could yep. try and hold on to yep. for a little bit. And that's something they would desperately need because they're so heavily outnumbered. One thing I'm looking at here is how quick Matt is split 2 2. They need to start getting together. Yeah. They know for a fact. Okay, it's an open circle. We have two of the best positions in the circle, and we're sitting with two guys in each one of them. People will push down on us, and they will do it very shortly. So uh, sitting in a potentially a 2-1-1 split, actually, is uh, maybe a bit greedy. Uh oh This is not good, though. Desperate as well. Straight past Avangar. Colder Mentor. Blown to smithereens. Well, Unity, they've been able to find some of the fight here. They're going to be taking it on to Besiktas. Can they hold on, though? A lot of damage being done there by Tizarin, but he couldn't find the Nox. And this is what can happen, right? If you hold on to those cards, for too long, you go to the truck. And oh, it's not working out for Desperados whatsoever. The vehicles are exploding everywhere. Calvin Klein jumps out, does get a finish. Can he do any more damage? He's going to be knocked and straight away finished by a completely different team. It's going on like crazy. Looking for a team doing what they can to stay alive with a little help from teams around them. They do manage to do so as well. Desperado will be the first team eliminated in 16th place. So just like we saw yesterday, they had that one rough game, then came back and did better the following game. So we'll see the following three games, how well they can perform. And they're unique, very much aware that uh, Vanconas are sitting inside the gas station. Oh, and there he goes, standing, getting a little pop to the head. Now, Avangar, they work themselves out a nice spot there. Now they're going to actually come away from the circle, get it back in their vehicles and rotate round. Unique's going to try and hold on to this, see what they can do, get the rest of the players up, get themselves in a good position. They're already mm. within the circle. They do need to be a little bit cautious. They've made that noise now, and reciprocity are not too far away from them. Venconus again, we've got Test on your screen. They're being pushed up massively. This isn't looking good once again. These guys can't seem to catch a break, and he's only got the Mac Daddy to work with. Can he get it done? The Uzi to spray it out. Is it going to be enough? Uh, oh, <gasps> nice. What? Oh my what? god! What? <laughs> what just happened? He got the knock with the nade and then he took down two more with one spray of an Uzi. What the hell? That should never happen. The I don't even gun. think he realized what happened before they were both knocked. And now we have the last player just forced to make a leap for it. Orange though saying, well, that didn't go as we were planning. I've never seen a hold off like that with an Uzi before, but holy moly, that extended Mac came into play. And that is one of the top teams <laughs> going down in 15th place. This is where the action starts to unfold. And my, oh my, Test is going to be dreaming about that for the longest time. What a play. And with that weapon as well, the great nade coming in. Good stuff from him. As Deegs from Elgig, he's going to be able to take down Hugster, oh sorry, Drone Transporter there. He's going to go and take a little pot shot onto the P6, look to do some more damage as well. He's just hiding behind the rock. X is all that's there for his team right now. He really wants to get the rest, but that's going to be too little too late. You have Broken on the outside of the house. And also you can see they're not inside the circle just yet, driving around inside the warehouse here. You see already a lot of damage coming in, forced outside. Now trying to see if he can get the finish off onto Broken. He's not going to be able to do it. Lassa though will. Yeah, Lars are able to get that done. Nice bit of damage to come out towards them. They're going to really struggle to get out of this. Deegs goes down <laughs> to the circle as he's getting tagged up at the same time. Avoids being a kill point, though, so that's yeah. one positive out of it. Apocalypse trying to hide in the smoke. The shots are coming out towards him. Drops another one. He needs to find some serious cover right now because he's under heavy, heavy artillery fire. You see them in quick math. They're still split the same way they were before, and I think right now the issue has come down to them simply not being able to rotate towards each other. Their vehicles could be broken at this point because there's been so many people shooting pretty much right around their heads and uh, for them to make this push now might just be a bit too dangerous but they are in a very 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 sort of uh, scary split right now you yeah, haven't got just holding on in a good spot to get a lot of information right their position is going to be known because it's very obvious the fact mm. their cars have been stacked up there 
Reciprocity still in the fray, still finding themselves a way into this. Oops. With just two players alive, they can try and get on a third party and do some damage. O'Connell is a man you want to still be very, very cautious of here because yeah. it doesn't matter that Wizards have only got two players. He's looking to do some damage. That nade's going to go out. Tomil needs to be ever so cautious. Lux is just on the other side. Could this nade do further damage there? It does pop. Managing just to out to miss it. He comes out into the open. O'Connell goes in for the shot, but it's not going to connect just yet. Yeah, no, 261 damage for the Now everyone's going down. There's simply not a lot to take. And that's going to be it. That's going to be two players down. We talked about this just before. It was just a matter of time before somebody would pull up on that yellow house. It was going to be the guys from Sweaty Nerds. And they did do so in the end. Got themselves a compound and stayed alive as well. Swarm, though, not quite so. All of them going down. And now we're going miles out into the open with not a lot of things to play around. Now, you spoke about this already, but we need to open them up still with four players on your screen. We've got the players alive tab added. This is a start for them that they would massively want to hold on to. It's been a long time since we've been able to say this about them. In a positive situation as we get down to the last ten teams, Wizards have been eliminated. They tried to hold on with two players, but it wasn't meant to be. What is it, what is it with MFS running around all by himself and just spraying at people? I mean, he's not scared at all. I like to see it. Can come to cost him sometimes, but now unseen on the other side. Tries to do some damage. It's going to be MFS, though. The Coralius goes down. Are are they aware though they have two players inside the shack? Oh wow, MFS doing damage long range. Can he now work out what's going on around him? Spots them out, sees their heads. Smoke goes out towards him. He's gonna try and give those guys some cover to move out. Ooh. MFS though doesn't have a grenade to flush them out with and a nade comes wow. out his way, finishes him off on the kebabs. They get splattered out of nowhere. Apocalypse, perfect timing. Throws the nade, turns around, gets the finish up on the other guy and that's just not a whole lot you can do from there. Very, very well done. And look at Lux, so far outside the circle. All by himself, once it connects, there's no saving grace. It's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna go further away from him as well. So more damage will be done and there you go. He does go out. So Besiktas out in ninth place there. Not a whole lot more they could do and look at this now you got three players alive from sweaty nerds taking the center position they committed to it they said this is an all or nothing kind of play they got it all now they got the center spot in the circle too but look at this nade coming down <gasps> oh because how did that not become a triple kill this they're gonna get the explosion vehicles now yep there you go that's yeah. one down Great use of the grenades here. We need a home. They did have four players alive. Make that three. Potentially more going down as well as Unique start to jump over. Lipson's going to be finished off by Ubica. This is not good whatsoever. Avangar long ranging it up as well. Ooh. But this is really nice from play with me. Long range getting it done. Avangar very much out in the open. They can't save their fallen comrades either. And this is this area of the map. I mean, you have X amount of trees, but that tree is only going to cover you from so many angles. Now, you see the nades are starting to come in return. And for we need a home, they need to do something aggressive here. I mean, those vehicles are blown up. Everybody knows where they are. They are inside the circle. And actually, oh, one vehicle that isn't blown up is taken into use. Now, they'll start driving down smash. We're trying to make it down to his teammate, but down he goes. Unfortunately, not a whole lot more you can do from that spot. And I'm starting to wonder who was shooting at him. Yeah, I think that was coming down from the Avangar guys. Yeah, I, think, I believe it was Avangar. They now start to push in. They're hungry to try and get these oh, frags yeah. here. Is this going to be possible? Rita trying to hold on. Oh, and it's a run over. You hate to see it, but he gets both of them. Max is always like, give me those kill points. I'm getting on this scoreboard some way, somehow. And he's actually pushed himself into the circle oh, with wow. Snoopy just alongside him. That is... Quick math are still up. So they lost, yeah. they lost two yeah. players early on, but two are still alive. And actually, it's been a very quiet game for them, but they're still within the top six. Mm -hmm. That's the thing they can do. They will not take those fights unless if they're absolutely forced to. Very, very well at doing their well. Quick math. And um, that's, that's how they make it to the late game every single time. <laughs> the, just that noise, by the way, is scary. If you're anyone else on the map and you know he's already got one kill, he's looking for more and you're thinking, I don't want to step out into that. There's yeah. not enough places for me to hide. And he's obviously feeling very, very confident. Maxi does go down to OU, who secured himself to finish off underneath the Dasha there. Not a whole lot more he could do, unfortunately. Jupsic trying to come down to get some more cover with the vehicles. He had the US soldiers there, but now, as you can hear, Andy obviously having heard that they are on the other side. Not sure those nades can go far enough, though. Yeah, just Ooh, a actually. little bit. Just a little bit more is all they need. Shots are all coming in. Quick Mapper heavily under pressure and under fire. Twenty nerds have got themselves in such a nice spot as well, having the building to work around. <laughs> it's literally just all around them. Yeah. All see, going down, not us. quite reaching them. Pinkman wants to throw it down there as well. Not quite far enough either, though. Quick math right now, at least in a good spot. New circle's going to pop, though, and they will have to move. Not sure where they're planning on going, but it's going to be a tough choice no matter what they do.
Sweaty Nerds are in such a good position. Yeah. The circles worked out from they rotated themselves the way around. They've got themselves some good work in there as well. BenQ now on a rampage gets himself his fifth kill. So this could be the game where we see Sweaty Nerds step it up. And they will have to. I mean, they have everything at their feet right now, technically. Mm -hmm. They have a good spot. They can hold off the people coming in from the north. They know they have two solos on the southern side, and if not solos, then they at least know that they're... I mean, there's been a lot of death on the southern side, so they will have a good chance to do some damage. Their last are trying to make the run on in. And look at this. I mean, for quick math, had they united earlier, had they united earlier, they would have had such a good chance in this circle. And the thing is, right, we've got a few of the players from Sweaty Nerds standing in the building at the moment, but Andy is just out in the open, mm. in the ghillie, taking shots, and he is actually <laughs> doing damage. Yeah, for sure. Ghillie suits, they work well. Maybe not if you jump around like a crazy person, though. Is that Shooting. a living bush over there? Hmm, something seems a little fishy. Lassa trying to use that tree for cover. It's not going to grant him cover for long, though, I think. Oh, my, actually, it might just be inside the circle here. He's, he's got like a millimeter to play with, so if he doesn't if he doesn't manage to get taken down, he could last a little bit longer, push himself up those point positions. It might be able to work out for him. Play with me, trying to use this car as some cover. Actually gets the knock onto Andy. That's a nice one for him to start off with. How much more can he get done from here, though? Andy's going to really struggle to get back to his teammates where he was playing so out in the open. Siphon's been tagged up as well. This is huge with play with me. He's getting it done. <laughs> MYM though, they come into it at the same time and Sweaty Nerds basically got everyone attacking them, all different sides at one point. They want this position and he gets finished off there. MYM comes into it, Team Unique goes down and oh my, this is where Quick Math say we may only have two players but we can get this done. Good use of the grenades at the same time. Laza's giving himself a little bit of a poke but they know exactly where he is. They've been waiting for him and Quick Math on an absolute rampage. Absolutely insane performance from Quick Math. They had everything working for them in the beginning. A bit of a greedy split to uh, sort of through the middle phase but now it seems like two and Jupesick has figured out what they need to do. They take out Sweat Inerts as well in the process. There was a little bit of help from Finkwin and Lassa but now three solos remaining and then you have Quick Math in the position where their fallen teammates were just before trying to figure out where are these last remaining three players. And a lot of teams still had four players left alive while Quick Math literally just had two for probably the last five, six minutes, right? Mm. And now they've got ten kills Damage is being done. Jupesig with five, just on his own. And they have no bomb push against this. This is really good. Nice spray down coming in. But Snoopy's the one to go and finish him off. MYM are eliminated and Avangar are still coming into this. They still believe they can rack their way up these points. But Quick Math, they have a huge advantage here. Not just positional, but they've got the numbers as well. Also for Lassa, I mean, these are a team that went from 7th down to 14th yesterday. Now this is a good comeback Ooh. opportunity. Even though he might just get that third place, it's still a very, very good game to start things off today. Laza, hug that tree. I'm all with the tree huggers, especially <laughs> if it means you stay alive for a little bit longer, my friend. Yeah, all he can do really is, uh, well, make that miraculous push. The only cover he's going to have is that Dasha. And, uh, well, as you can see, Snoopy might not want to give him that opportunity. And this is the thing, right? Laza, his position is known. Snoopy's position is known. No one can really hide at this point. It is a, it is a bob and weave. It is a run around and see how long you can do to fight to stay alive and push into that circle. Laza got the raw end of the stick here because he was just outside. But even then, he's still staying up. Will this nade reach? Goodbye, buddy. That should be right on the money. Oh, no, nope, that's just oh, a little too short. Two going, wait, that didn't hit. What about this one? A little further. Let's see. No. Laza, he's, he's living the dream right now. Honestly, what could happen here? Because I think there's a way. There's a way that Quick Math won't win this game. Next cycle is going to go dead center. It's going to force Quick Math out from here. Sure, Laza will have to make a move from down here as well. They know for a fact exactly where he is. But if they go over aggressive trying to finish off Laza and mm. Snoopy comes in and interferes, you can see this. He has a lot of room to rotate right now. He can make that way over towards the left side trees without Jupesik being able to spot him. So if Laza somehow times it right and peaks at the right time, might just be able to get himself a second, even maybe a first place game here. I'm already seeing Quick Math jump about. Oh, they're gonna get him. Are the they gonna run him over? Please run him over. This is interesting. <laughs> Snoopy's going into fire off onto him. You can see it in the bottom right of the screen. Snoopy's got actually a good bit to work with here. Giving himself out in the open. Laza jumps in right on top of him. This is oh. not what they wanted, but Laza, he couldn't connect the shots. Jupesig makes him pay the price for it. And now it's all on Snoopy to see what he can do. But Quick Math, they need to act as a team. They need to act together. Jupesig running around, holding him on the tree. So much damage being done, but they can't get the finish. Snoopy, he's trying to hold on. He's living a life behind that tree. He's still popping out, trying to make it connect, what? but he can't hit the shots. What is going wrong for poor Snoopy here? Jupesig. 
Sees him, they've got him in his sights. There's only so much hiding he can do. Shots are just not connecting. The pressure is certainly on here. Nade's going out of Snoopy. He must be, I'm gonna rename him to Neo. He's somehow avoided so many shots here. He's just living forever. Want to get the first hit off. He might be able to, not gonna happen though. 2-0-U-O, quick math. It seemed hard for them when they lost in Solenso and one more player down there on this other.